the mother of all conspiracy theories has been proven to be correct. There must be aliens that visit this world from outer space. Why would the UN create an office for outer space affairs and create a space ambassador appointed to act as the first point of contact for aliens trying to communicate with Earth. Her name is Maslin Othman. Just, just a few days ago, many pilots and U.S. military officers in a group came together and said there are aliens and they have attacked our nuclear weapons facilities in Montana, disarming our nuclear weapons. Now, there's been many people over the years that say, oh yes, there's aliens. Many of these people never even saw an alien, but yet they are believers. Because there's so much evidence that the aliens do exist. There are so many encounters that have happened that now even the UN recognizes this grave situation in appointing a space ambassador to deal and communicate with aliens trying to communicate with us here on Earth. Now we here at Highland Hill Farm we are creating an alien haven. Any alien that wishes to enter into our airspace and we do have a balloon and helicopter port here at Highland Hill Farm are welcome to enter and they will be afforded all the protections that our farm can provide. We have a lot of ammunition and a lot of guns to help protect them when they land. We will not allow any, any, any government agents to talk to them. We will allow news correspondents to come on a case-by-case -case basis, probably starting with Fox News, and allowing them to interview the aliens. We will allow this uh, Moslem Othman from the UN to speak to the aliens when they come. But we, we, are, we are creating an alien haven here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Aliens are welcome here. Space aliens, I don't care if you're from Mars, Jupiter, Venus, or wherever you're from, you are welcome to come here to Highland Hill Farm, and you have free status here, and we will protect you. So please visit us if you're from the outer space world. Thank you. Call us at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is a green bush that's $35. Over on my other side, this one here, that's the green bush. That's our $50 size green bush. And that's our $75 size green bush. And those are the 2010 prices? Yes, they are. And we have, the, we have more of these out in the field. Now, as you can see down through here, we have quite a few of them ready to go. So just give us a call if you want to pick them up, 215-651-8329. Or we can deliver and plant for you. Thank you. We grow a lot of boxwoods here at Highland Hill Farm. These are our 18 inch green mountain boxwoods and these are our 24 to 28 inch green mountain boxwoods. We grow a lot of other deer resistant trees and shrubs as well and those are our 5 to 6 foot green giants. If you need any High quality deer resistant nursery stock, give us a call. We can deliver or deliver and plant or you can stop and pick up. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are more deer resistant plants here at Highland Hill Farm. This is a dwarf Alberta spruce. It is deer resistant. This is an arrowwood type viburnum. That is also deer resistant. And of course the spruces, like the blue spruce, Norway spruces, and all the types of spruces that have a hard, you know, hard needle are deer resistant as well. So give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your deer resistant. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst. I'm at Highland Hill Farm. 
And right here we have our Niagara's that are four to five foot tall, which are a really nice size. And I want to talk to you about something that's going to happen to all evergreens this year as we get closer to the fall, and that's called fall needle drop. That if you look at the ground, you can see some of these yellow needles coming off. That is a symptom of fall needle drop. Every evergreen, every year, loses its needles in the fall. And what's happening is as the new growth starts hardening over, the plant can't support all the growth that it has. So it gets rid of its interior needles, and when it gets rid of it, people can see it sometimes as being yellow. And I guess if we uh, look into the center more, I guess this one over here is better, you can see that the needles do fall off into the center, usually towards the lower part of the tree. The reasoning for the lower part of the tree, not the upper part of the tree, is because the lower part of the tree gets less light than the upper part. So as the plant evaluates itself and which parts of the plants are producing more energy and which ones are not, the ones towards the lower are getting less sunlight, therefore getting less photosynthesis. It's contributing less to the plant. Therefore the plant does not, the plant, the tree itself does not view that part of the plant as important as the top part of the plant, which you can see is very nice, thick and full. So as you look at your arborvitaes, hollies, spruce, pine, or any type of boxwoods or Japanese hollies, you should see a healthy plant should lose between a fourth to a third of its needles every year during the fall. It is a naturally occurring process that the plant does. And if you do see it and you see the needles falling down in the ground, don't scrape it up and take it away. What that is, that's the plant actually doing it fertilizing and putting mulch down on itself. What this mulch does is it creates the correct pH for the plant to grow in. And as the plant with this debris starts to break down, it gets released and the plant can uptake it again through its roots. So if you just let it sit there and let it decompose on its own, it is part of the plant's natural system and that is how healthy plants live. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. We're on Route 313 and Fountainville, PA. This is Highland Hill Farm, and we grow thousands of arborvitaes, pine trees, spruces, junipers, and we have lots of material for you to come to see at our 313 location. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you.